So I think part of what we've done in education over the last um, hundred or so years is um, go for this seated, sit there and learn approach. And I think things are rapidly changing, particularly around our younger kids, and particularly around our boys. Um, there's a lot of kids that, um, especially our sort of five to year old, eight year old boys, that don't do very well in that concentrated learning setting, physical movements um, more appropriate to help stimulate the sort of learning that they would do. And in fact, the very first piece of research I did uh, as, a as a new academic in 1994, um, we had a bunch of, of uh, young boys who had uh, attention uh, deficit hyperactivity disorder who were medicated with, with uh, Ritalin. We took them off that medication um, and we had them simply go outside um, and do some very active play for five minutes every 40 minutes. Um, and their behaviour and well-being was better than when they were medicated. So, you know, this can have profound effects on even our, um, on our, our kids that have the most trouble concentrating. Um, and it doesn't have to be just the kids that, that present with what we would um, probably wrongly diagnose as problems, but it, it's for everyone. You're ending up with a more settled um, environment when the kids are indoors, and you end up with a, a a uh, more vibrant learning situation if you're creative enough when they're outdoors. Uh, physical education is not about sending the kids around the end of the field and back um, a couple of times while you stand there. Physical education is about integrating movement into a bunch of other learning opportunities.